Welcome to Conversion Conversations. This is Cameron, and before you, you see Transformers uh, War for Cybertron Siege 6 Gun, and we also have a sticker set for 6 Gun here by Toy Hack. So we've got the Repper Label set. There are two parts to the sticker set. It looks like we've got dedicated cell uh, shaded anime style windshield uh, piece to go over this gray piece. Um, just give it a more defined cockpit, um, which I'm curious if I'll end up using. And then we've got all sorts of detail stickers here on a silver backing. And I just wanted to go ahead and get started on Six Gun here. Um, my previous sticker video, I noted that they finally added numbers into those uh, stickers. So when you're looking on the website instructions, you can see exactly where those stickers are. Now, uh, this sheet doesn't have it, which is unfortunate. I really hope that they make that a permanent thing on all their future sheets. We're going to start with number one, which is actually on sticker sheet two, which I'm a little curious as to what makes... I mean, they're both backed with silver. Um, I guess this is more of a matte finish than like a metallic finish. Yeah, we'll, we'll see how this looks right off the bat and make a decision. So far, generally, when, I, when I'm like, I don't know if I'll like a sticker, um, I still end up keeping them on my robots, except for eye stickers. Eye stickers, I don't, I don't fuck with eye stickers. So this seats in pretty nicely. And yeah, you can also see in the background, there's my unopened boxes for Transformers uh, Siege 2. I got some box openings I'm going to shoot after this, but I wanted to get this guy done while I have him in front of me. <sighs> yeah, once again, I think I, I like the sticker, besides maybe a little misaligning, which is my fault more than anything else. I think that looks really good. I, I like their cell, sh cell effects, their cell shaded effects. So that was number one. And then we can go in here on number three, which are these vent panels. Hope everyone's having a good week. I'm shooting on a Monday because I have today off from work, which is nice. I didn't realize that uh, my work celebrated Veterans Day, but we do. So I get some time to catch up on kind of chores and apartment stuff and knock some of the things that I've had on my to-do list for the channel out of the way. Uh, things have been piling up. It's been October and November and then December are shaping up to be very, very busy months. So I'm trying to get as much done as I can ahead of time. There's number three. That is another set that seats in really nicely. Uh, he's got something there, some goop. All right. Then we'll go to number six, which are these pieces, adding some red, which the color matching seems really nice. Uh, that red matches his legs very nicely. And this piece is going, let me make sure I've got it lined up. Yeah, right onto this panel here. And I, I'm super excited about the stickers for the weaponizers. Um, Cog turned out fine, but Brunt and Six Gun already are awesome figures, and then the stickers just make them pop out even more. Brunt, I'm really tempted to pick up a second toy just because uh, Toy Hacks did a conversion set turning Brunt into, I think it's called Heavy Loader or Heavy Lifter, um, but like it's almost construction vehicle green, like Constructicon green colors to break up that purple. Um, that set looks really, really awesome also. There is six. We can go into five, which are these red panels, which I, I really like the design philosophy behind this particular sheet, where they're, it seems like they're just trying to break up the white space as much as possible. I kind of wish they did this for Prowl when they, when they showed off um, Prowl's sticker set because Siege Prowl is a good mold, and I think I've mentioned it numerous times on the channel before. I'm sure I'm annoying you, but when I say it, 
Prowl is the worst, like he wears his own mold the worst out of all the different toys that have had that mold just because that big blank slab of white plastic and white paint that just, he's already kind of like a smooth vehicle and then the white plastic, even when you have greebles like this, it just eats up that detail if you don't break it up with any color. Alright, that was five, then let's do a... Uh, 11, it's calling out these wing pieces, which is a set of stickers. So, dive right in on the left wing, which I also like that we're covering up. Like on white plastic, that battle damage never looks good. I'm, I'm trying to make sure I can catch that on camera. That just doesn't look good. So covering it up with some red and some mechanical sticker details is nothing but goodness on my part. Yeah. And it's an unfortunate decision they made not to include a sticker. So they have both ends um, of that wing, but they don't have that elevated middle piece. So there's still just that smudge of metallic paint. Oh, I totally grabbed the wrong end. That's fine. We'll come over here. Just a happy little accident. I live streamed last night. Uh, hopefully you guys caught that. I, my intention was to try and live stream these stickerings but my weekends are just so packed right now, I don't know that I can commit to making sure I'm on stream. So that's why I'm doing these ahead of time, even though I think these work better as... Oops, sorry, did not mean to bump the camera. Really thought I'd avoid that today. I think these videos work better as live streams where I can talk to people and chat while I'm doing this. Um, just my schedule isn't really permitting me to do that. Yeah, like, look at that. That looks so nice. And then you've got this like random blob of silver right here that doesn't really seem to have a reason to be there. Uh, if we got one more sticker to cover that up, that'd be nice. But overall, I like that effect on the wing. It's just bringing things to life. And they even have, I don't know, maybe that's not intentional, it's a print error, but like on both sides they have these panel lines in the sticker, like here and here and here, um, on both stickers, and it's like they're adding in implied greeble detail, which if is intentional, is kind of a cool new thing that I haven't seen on sticker sets before. Come in. Right here, there we go. All right, so that was 11, and then next one is number four, is a hatch over here, which I think this is supposed to be human size. So this implies, which I guess makes sense, six gun is this massive gunship. Um, yeah, and that matches up so well, it like, that kind of blends in, that's, besides the, the black and the light blue, it's hard to make that out uh, on camera. Let me flip it upside down, the more light can get in. Yeah, there you can kind of see it. But yeah, it, I guess, right, if he's scaling as he does in toy mode with Metroplex, it makes sense that he'd be this enormous craft. Some additional windows. These stickers, I feel like the surface area is a little too small for them to adhere very well. I'm going to be extra careful and see if I can uh, mash them in really, really nice. And 
There we go. But yeah, things like that, again, it's just breaking up that solid plastic color with just a little bit of detail that really makes this set... I mean, I haven't even finished, but it seems like such an easy recommend from me. I'm curious about, it may be hard to make it out on a camera, but there's like this checkerboard pattern that is inside that metallic gold. Which I'm not sure what the intention behind that effect is. I guess maybe these aren't supposed to be windows. But instead, something different. There we go. Uh, the only other stickers I believe on this page on their website is number 17, which I think are these sets of cannons. Let me see. Yeah. I think they gave us spares. I'm trying to look at the picture and make sure. I'm going to go ahead and separate them out into his halves so we can get a better look at these cannons. No, maybe that's not the right diameter to get. Maybe it's meant to go from this tab, go halfway around to this tab. Same thing over here. Interesting bit of deco here, I'm not sure. I guess it just breaks up the solid cannon color, which is good. A little bit of black and metallic silver to... Keep things moving. bit misaligned there. Two down. There we go. Oop, one more. Yeah, now, now that I see them like as a set, I think it looks a little more cohesive. Sorry about that again. These tiny... I gotta... This... After Christmas time, I gotta figure out the next step up in terms of my camera setup. Because I'm pretty happy with everything except for the fact that I bump this camera as much as I do. 
I know Larkin uh, at Larkin's Lair has a really cool setup where he, he's filming above uh, the table looking down, and that seems to work for him really well. Maybe that's something I can try and mimic. There we go. All right. So here is everything that I see on this page so far already. Like, look at all that color that we added in. We've got Six Gun in his robot mode. And we can start out with, it says number nine, which Looks like it actually goes, number nine is back here. And it's these three like energy stripes is what I'd call them. these three up Una mas So that's like it's those long thin pieces but they do slot in really nicely. There we go. So that's done, but I I think I prefer this well flip down and out of the way and then coming back up with these pieces. I think that is how I prefer it anyway. So that's kind of hidden in robot mode. Then we've got the tops of missiles, which I guess could have been done in his alt mode. Nope. Make sure I come at these from the right angle. They have, the stickers aren't full circles, they have little slots in them, so they do fit in in only one position. Yeah, that's like, there's, I thought I tightened that up, but maybe I didn't do it enough, because that is still absolutely super loose. There we go. Una mas. Yeah, so there's like a comparison of what those missiles look like on this side versus uh, no missiles on the other side. It, these little circle details are one of those stickers that I find a little annoying to put on. Um, but in this case, since it's on a part of the toy that is not receded, it extrudes outward. Um, it's a little less of a hassle. And I do think the effect here is worth a little bit of fuss you have to do to get things positioned the way you want them. It's worth the hassle.
There we go. Oh, yeah, and that absolutely doesn't want to go. Okay, so there is Six Gun with his missiles on. Uh, next we have number 13, which looks like... I think it is these square pieces. We gotta turn his guns out. Yeah, there's a square position here. And again we have this gradient energy effect, which is interesting that it goes... Like, the, the parts of his hands aren't continuous. There's a discontinuity there. But since they're so far apart, I don't know that anyone would notice that as much as... Yeah, like, I don't know how much you notice that there's a gradient between them as much as you do their two different colors. That's an interesting decision. Alright, next uh, we've got these hip pieces. It looks like they go on the front and the backs of his hips. Let me see if I have... It goes, oh, I was looking at the wrong area. It goes on the absolute bottom. Am I? It goes on the bottom, but it's also flipped like this. There we go. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. I was a bit confused on that one. Coming in on the back the same way. And they are slightly different front to back since you have different sized uh, holes, screw holes here, pinholes that you have to fit around. So make sure you don't mix up which one goes where. Same thing here. And up here. Yeah, and again, just breaking up all that solid red plastic, which I think is absolutely a great idea. Now we can come to 14, which is his big old stomping sandal pieces, which actually, to me, this looks like win windows, like, um... Like what you'd see at uh, on Metroplex himself, which is interesting. Again, we've got all this like nasty silver paint just messing up his boots, but we can come in on top. Which again, covering up that silver and putting in these like window details to me reinforces the idea that this is like a building sized plane. Metroplex is, you know, very large, not as, I don't think he's really a city, but he's a very large building complex, and then Six Gun is a uh, hovercraft slash plane thing that uh, is the size of a sky skyscraper himself. Because his boots are five stories tall, apparently. Which is ludicrous, but I also dig it. And then it makes this cockpit, like, even more insane. Then on, while we're down on his feet, we've got these energy pieces going on his shins.
And yeah, I think like, I mean, this is a deluxe set, but I feel like there's more stickers here than I was really expecting. This has taken me longer than I initially thought it would. Okay, so then I've got on the sides, we're almost done here. We've got these two while we're down at his legs. Ooh, careful not to bend it. It is, oh, and this one, yeah. You want to be careful not to tear because that thin piece, I feel like is very prone to tearing. But we can come in here and add this detail. This spot right here, this black paint with the silver dry brushing over it is the only spot on him that I think the battle damage looks good. Everywhere else, I don't need the battle damage. Same thing, come in carefully. Making sure we don't tear that super thin, fragile sticker piece. Cover up his lot number. Yeah, I, I like that sticker detail also. Adding in that black, yellow, and red makes him look a little more industrial. It's not really robot detail, but it's like industrial detailing that I think works really, really well. Yeah. It also connects like all this down here. It seems like that black's like wrapping up all the way around his shin now. Oh, that's okay. All right, now we can come in on these forearms. Let's get these guns out of the way. Because I think on both sides of each forearm, we've got this red sticker detail to apply, which has a, like, it's got additional detail inside that red magenta stuff. Oh, oh no, I think these are separate pieces. Okay, I thought I had immediately torn something. We're gonna, we're going to, you know, he's a weaponizer. We can just rip his arm off to make things more convenient. And I definitely recommend it because now, like, that's so much easier to look at and apply. Oop. Yeah. Working our way down the forearm. Stickering fast. Hoping my battery lasts. And it's on its way down. Yeah, look at that. Same thing on the other side. We can just pop that little circle out. Yeah. Same thing on this end. Again, like, this sort of stuff, if they had done the same thing with, like, black detailing and accents on Prowl, like, I didn't need Prowl to look, to have an Earth vehicle mode. I just wanted those colors broken up more. But that looks awesome. That looks... That looks super good to me. I'm very, very happy with this set. Same thing on this arm.
Coming in up top. All around easy, easy recommendation. I think at full price this set is $10, but Toy Hacks does regular 30% off, 50% off, so you're looking at like seven bucks or five bucks. Uh, I think even if, like, no matter how you're using your six gun, if you're using him as an accessory to Metroplex, if you've got him as his own character, if you're um, using uh, him just as like weapon upgrades for other characters, this set just makes everything pop more. It adds more detail. It adds so much color to break up all that white plastic space. Um, I know it's not super G1 referential, but just in terms of design, it's really, really good and a really, really easy recommendation. Take a look at our boy here. He is all done. Just marvelous. Highly, highly recommend you can pick him up. If, if you don't have a six gun, pick up a six gun. If you have a six gun, pick up a six gun, another one, and do this sticker set on him. He looks terrific. All right, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a great day.